Good day, people. This is my uh, take on the uh, Triple Tech 8 Pro. As far as it goes, um, you know, the general function and certain aspects are quite good. Like, uh, when I, uh, There's settings. Let's go there first. Yeah, I know it's alphabetical, but I'm small. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. See, this is the way we want it. Okay, you see that there? That's close. We're looking for a different one. Nope. Uh, there we are. Okay, now see that one there that we're connecting to now? That's uh, about uh, 60 feet away, and it's through a cindiary block wall. It's on the other side of a cindiary block wall. So do you see how much signal we're still getting? That's all I have to say about the uh, network functionality of this unit. And I'm not saying anything bad because see the links this one, it's still pretty connected. Like, you know, it's still got pretty good signal. But uh, the Bell unit, it's uh, set up right as soon as the phone line enters the house. Uh, what are we doing jumping? We weren't done having the conversation. Okay, there we go. We're back there. Okay. As soon as the bell line enters the house, that bell unit is connected and the network takes over. But because it's uh, on the other side of a cindiary block wall, it's not ideal for connecting to. That's why I ran the link this one locally, you know, it's uh, only 10 feet away from me. I don't know why it's got, there it jumped again. I, I don't know why it's got uh, only mediocre signal. It should have ideal signal. Well, half the time it does, it has a really good signal. But uh, who knows, it's a few years old, so probably getting out, uh, outdated and needs to be video. No, I was having a conversation. Yet. Huh. Now the link just has a bigger, better signal. Am I still recording? might be oh okay now if you're still recording oh wait no i want that yeah don't jump there jump there okay now as far as it goes if you uh uh yeah oops you choose the wrong application, you're going to be limited in your options. Like, um, let's go there. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's no good. Uh, 
Uh-huh. I'm back where I just went. Yeah. I'm stupid like that. Yeah, let's see this. Yeah, I really haven't been through all this stuff, so. Ah, okay, there we go. So we're able to get the full resolution here. We're not able to get the full resolution on the other one. No, uh, 21 megapixels, 21 megapixels listed. Nope, not at all. Uh -huh. So it all depends on the application you fire up as to uh, what options you're given. Huh. And in general, uh, you know, this thing uh, is the best tablet I've ever had. Not that I'm an expert and I've had a lot of tablets. I've had a few. I started a few years ago with a Lenovo. Then um, I ended up... Uh, dropping that one over by mistake so it got a crack in the front which you know I'm aware that's going to you know develop into a problem and actually that uh, Lenovo doesn't function at all now but uh, I, of course I started shop and then I ended up going after a Samsung and then I thought I'd be a brain cell and, and go after the uh, like that was a 10.1 Samsung. Uh, I think it was a Tab A. Well, I'd have to look it up. Uh, it is a Tab A, or maybe it is. I don't know. But uh, I went after the Tab or whatever, the Samsung 10.5. Now, to be honest, um, I, uh, I'd i wish I'd gone after a, another 10.1. Um, not that, uh, functionally the, uh, 10.1 compares to this, but on the whole, the, uh, 10.1 has decent battery life and, uh, all the other aspects are, you know, subpar. Or maybe I said that wrong. Or maybe I should have said above par. Um, whereas the, uh, like the, the main reason, uh, which, you know, was a stupid reason, but I went off the, uh, 10.5 for the speakers. Um, then I ended up using my headphones as the dang thing. So the speakers really don't count, except if I want to, you know, kick it on, kick it on when, uh, I'm not using them. Well, in actuality, when I'm home, I have a stereo, so I really don't use anything else unless I am using the headphones. But uh, it's uh, 
you know, it's quite functional. It has uh, a lot of capabilities. You know, it's an all-in-one. And uh, it's got decent size. And then I set up the uh, triple tap, so you can zoom if you want to. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know, after I, I've been used to the tennis tablets, I was wondering what it would be like to have an eight inch, but, uh, you know. Not much different, other than it's a little bit smaller, a little bit more convenient to call around with you and fit in your purse or your purse or, or uh, um, because of the uh, strap, I pretty much use it as a bracelet. <laughs> yeah, I do. It's either in my purse or it's on the end of my wrist. Or actually, it's not on the end of my wrist, it's on my wrist. So, yeah, it's a, a good unit. I enjoy it. No, you don't show me the details I was looking for. Okay. So yeah, we gotta go get that other one. This one. Mm-hmm. <coughs> mm -hmm. I really don't uh have a lot of stuff on here right now. Got my ringtone. Oh, and I managed to uh, download Destiny's Child. Let's go see what that is. Okay, that's what that is. Not a little mark. No, no, that's not finished yet. I've been waiting on that. Still waiting on that. Open it just sort of slips in there. Uh -huh. So all in all, it's a uh, pleasing situation and actually to be honest prior to this I didn't use a cell phone since the early 2000s and even then when I, I used the cell phone the cell phone didn't have a sim card in it I only used it when I went to the donut shop I would use their network to you know do stuff go on YouTube whatever send emails 
contact somebody and tell them to meet me or, you know, whatever the circumstances was. But uh, Ah, okay, I see. Well, actually, uh, yeah, I have a, a few books on here. But actually, uh, I've been collecting uh, audio books. Sure, yeah. See, 43 items. It's probably more than that because, yeah, see, inside those folders, I really don't have a lot of interest in Hitler, but uh, I do have some curiosity. Not in regards to stuff that Hitler did, other than the fact that uh, maybe Hitler was a pawn. Yeah, I'm aware of uh, the fact that the Zionists have been uh, messing around with stuff and still are messing around with stuff. Which leads me to wonder, um, you know, um, it was said that uh, Hitler's doctor was a Jew. Now, I don't have a problem with Jews, but uh, was Hitler's Jewish doctor a Zionist? And was he uh, drugging Hitler to achieve their agenda? So was he uh, drugged out of his skull and, and, you know, like the radical treatments that he was going through? Um, was he uh, you know, was he uh, drugged and coaxed into uh, performing uh, acts that uh, he might not have uh, been involved with under other circumstances. Um, you know, um, was he used as a scapegoat to achieve their agenda? In regards to this, you, you might think, well, you're fucking nuts, but uh, to be honest, um, if you look up the Belfort Agreement, like you can find it on Wikipedia, they actually have a copy of it published, but that's 1917. Now, the territory that they now fight about and try to claim is Israel, because they steal Palestinian land, <coughs> was not taken over until 1945. Well, Let's get this straight. The area, like even if we go back to the original area without the stealing stuff uh, that they have no rights to, the original territory that was to be given to them is a big chunk of land. So if that was you, what would you make you not take that over from 1917 until 1945. Okay, so you must have wanted something like, you know, you're waiting for something to be built or you're waiting for a component or, you know, there's some alternative factor that uh, you're waiting on. So if you've been uh, working towards this agenda and then you finally got Hitler drugged out of his head and in position to take the fall, then you're able to move. You know, and everybody's too busy focusing on Hitler did this, Hitler did this, Hitler did this. Well, what if Hitler didn't actually do it? Hitler had some little, uh, whatever you want to refer to them as, whispering in his ear.
what uh, Huh. I really don't know, and, and I'm not in the position to be the expert and have all the facts. It's just uh, I like understanding. I like answers, and uh, a lot of the stuff that went on there doesn't make sense to me at all. So I like it when they all add up. And actually, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm curious about looking into this guy's stuff. So I've been collecting that. Uh -huh, let's see, what do I have for apps? Some of this stuff, uh, like me having multiple browsers, I was when I was having that problem uh, downloading the DJI Fly app, uh, I tried a bunch of different browsers. Then because I wanted uh, to burn in uh, certain aspects, I, I, I uh, installed other things to function in particular ways so that uh, It would be burning in those areas. And then the uh, technical burn in of the unit would be completed so that I would uh, not have any, well, not run into any hiccups when I went to actually use it in that way. And it seems to be quite good now. I, I enjoy it. So yeah, this is uh, my summation of uh, what I think of uh, the Triple Tech 8 Pro, which uh, I really have no complaints. Quite good. And especially considering uh, I initially just got into this to go droning with because I didn't have anything that would be able to, it serves uh, a lot of other purposes. And, you know, I, I used to carry a lot of stuff <coughs> in my bag. Now I just carry this. So if it's... Uh, Something that you're interested in, I'd recommend it. And uh, I don't think you regret it. But you know, everybody has different needs. This definitely serves my needs. And I imagine it would serve yours too. Talk to you later.